Yo, what is up out there, everyone? It's Roll Easy here. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, a lot of stuff happened over the last few days in GTA 5 online, and this video is basically an informational video just to give you guys an update on what's going down, all right? So I made an update video. My last video was an update video as well. Um, and, you know, two in a row, you might be thinking, wow, that's crazy. But, I mean, really, it was the fact that we had so many money glitches working, plus a frozen money glitch, that I needed to kind of let people know if you want modded outfits, if you need money, uh, here are the links, man. These are all still working. These are all my videos. You can check them out. Now, the next day, which was yesterday, uh, Friday, what happened was we actually got pretty much everything patched, all right? They went through and they pretty much hacked off like 90% of the money glitches that we had working. Uh, they're all gone basically for the most part. But in this video, we're going to talk about what is still working. There is still a solo money glitch working at the moment. So don't worry about that. We still got solo money. Uh, all the DM trailer outfit glitches, you know, to get modded outfits, all those are still working as well. So all you guys that are, you know, that have been doing outfits, you know, you can keep doing them. If you guys haven't yet, check out my videos. I'll have the links for those down in the, in the uh, description. Now, the main part of this video, though, and it's the last thing we're going to touch on, are is the daily sell limit and dupe detect, okay? I've made a few videos in the past, actually, on this subject. It's one of my favorite subjects because it's not really that well known uh, in the glitch community, and it should be. You know, people should know about the daily sell limit if you're selling dupes and cars, but we're going to get into all of that, okay? So... Uh, first thing I want to talk about what money glitches are working. How do we make money right now now? The solo dupe glitch with the BMX bikes is still working. Okay, so there's preparation for that though on ps4 You can get BMX bikes in your facility uh, completely solo on Xbox You need a friend for like five minutes just to help you get a BMX bike in there and that's it Okay, once you've done that, that's it. It's completely solo after that. You're good to go You can get more BMX's just make sure you follow the setup video that I have where I show both consoles and all also the one after it which is the actual solo dupe glitch which works on both consoles okay so that's pretty much what I wanted to go over with the money glitch that you got to do all right that is the one to do right now all right there's not one better now let's talk about what's patched the easy uh, hanger solo dupe that got patched okay you remember the easy one where you know you we had a bunch of buzzards and you just press right d-pad to go into the mod shop you go and then you got a dupe all right that one is patched all right you cannot do that one anymore Frozen money on PS4, the SP to MP glitch, has now been patched as well. Okay, so no more frozen money, all right? It doesn't look like we're going to have it for a while either. All right, they put in a pretty uh, pretty good patch in there. Now, uh, also, oh yeah, the solo deluxo dupe. The deluxo dupe was, I called it the poor man's dupe because you only get about 300k per vehicle, but it was a really easy one. I didn't even get a chance to upload it, but that one was also patched. And I also asked you guys if you wanted to see, you know, the give cars to friends methods. There were a few methods that were working uh, and they were all PS4, but they were, you know, they were working for a little while. Those all got patched as well. So a lot of stuff got patched, guys. But, you know, the solo money glitch to do a little note on that BMX uh, solo dupe glitch. All right. Some of your cars will lose the upgrades when you switch sessions. OK, they still sell for around 500K, which is half a mil, which is great, you know but just be aware of that but not all of them do i thought they all did until today i duped three more over some just regular bmx bikes and what actually happened was the bmx usually transfers over a blank plate if you see a blank plate end up on your dupe that means that that will lose the upgrades once you switch sessions all right still sell for 500k which is our which is all right but if you see the dupe actually change the plate, then you know that you're good. That that dupe will stay the same. It won't revert back or anything like that. So that's just a note on the solo dupe glitch. It's still well worth it to do it. Really, really easy glitch, all right? Just make sure you follow my videos down below. Uh, like I said, all the outfit glitches are working. Check out all my DM modded outfit glitches, uh, glitch videos, I should say, and take advantage of that. Get the IA badge, the duffel bag, you know, have fun with that trailer glitch. Now, the main part of this video, the daily sell limit, now, the daily sell limit, I like I said, I've talked about it before. It's changed a little bit, and I wanted to just give you guys a quick update about the daily sell limit. So for those of you that don't know, the daily sell limit is put in place so that we don't oversell the amount of cars that we have, you know, dupes, anything. But what counts for, for you know, in the daily sell limit is the amount of cars you sell per day, all right, and per hour, actually. So this is what you want to follow. Only sell one car every 61 minutes, okay? 
follow that. One car every 61 minutes, no more. Now only sell eight cars max in 30 hours. All right, so that 30 hour period begins from the time you sold your first car. So if you don't know when the last time you sold a car was, you need to stop selling cars for 30 hours and then, and that's 30 real time hours, you know, like real life, all right, 30 real life hours. Now, once you've done that, then you can go ahead and sell a car, and that's when the new 30-hour period begins, all right? And that's how you can keep track, all right? So uh, the eight cars max in 30 hours, though, that's for people that have never hit a sell limit. If you have hit a sell limit, I recommend selling only seven cars max in 30 hours. So keep that in mind, okay? Now, there is another optional way you can sell cars. I personally do do this. I don't totally recommend it, but I'll just let you know what I do is I sell two cars back to back. But when I sell two cars back to back, I actually wait. Uh, I completely wait two hours and probably plus more. I wait way more than two hours to actually sell two more. So what I'll usually do sometimes is when I sign on in the morning, I'll sell two cars. And if I sign on later at night, I'll also sell another two cars. That's pretty much how I sell cars. You don't need to make any more money than that. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, so that's pretty much how I sell money. Uh, that's how I sell my cars, you know, to gain money. Now, we just had a frozen money glitch. Usually when that happens, they actually lift the sell limits, all right? They completely lift all our sell limits. So those people that were actually screwed over, all of a sudden, you know, they, they realize, look at that, I can sell more cars than I usually can. And they just keep selling and selling and selling. You will get hit with a one car day sell limit if you actually do that right now, all right? This is a very crucial time after a frozen money glitch. They wanna catch people who bought all the deluxos and stuff and who are, and, or vigilantes and they're just trying to mass sell them. Okay, so be aware of that. That is also very important. All right, don't fall into that trap. Just sell like normal by the daily sell limit rules, the exact ones I told you in this video. Uh, if you want more information, I'll have a bunch of links for my other daily sell limit. It's actually always in the description if you check that out. If you scroll down far enough, uh, the daily sell limit videos are always there. Now, the really informational one, which is like 12 minutes long or something, that one was made before they made the change uh, for one car every 61 minutes. At that time, it was one car every 31 minutes. So it was half the time. But that was the only difference. Everything else is pretty much the same. You want to follow all the same rules, all right? But uh, yeah, so this is all for this informational video. Just wanted to put all this info out there so you guys know what to do, what not to do this weekend. My name is Roll Easy. Please subscribe to the channel if you're brand new by hitting that big red button. Turn on post notifications and drop a fat like on this video and the rest of my videos for the freshest and the most informative dope GCA 5 online content. We are on the road to 50,000 subscribers. Peace out.